Greetings from ITU headquarters in Geneva, where I'm very pleased to be joined by Alexander Truskovsky, the product manager for ISARA Corporation. Today we're going to discuss X509, the digital certificates that are in wide use in the public key infrastructure, and in particular, the latest revision of this standard. Alexander, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Could you tell us a little bit more about this revision of X509? I understand it is particularly to guard against the quantum threat. That's right. So as quantum computing evolves, we have to think about migrating our systems to quantum-safe cryptography. Now, today's organizations rely on complex infrastructures to support their information and communication technology needs. Uh, these infrastructures are very costly and time-consuming to migrate. Um, with our X509 contribution, we are reducing this migration cost and complexity. We're doing it by making X509 certificate more crypto agile. Uh, the updated certificate is able to support classic algorithm and quantum safe algorithm at the same time, allowing for both legacy and upgraded systems to coexist, allowing for much smoother and easier migration in phases. You mentioned crypto uh, agility. That's a very interesting concept of preparing for a threat that is not was yet to emerge in full force and it will evolve rapidly. This agility, leaving the agility to, to adapt to changing uh, threats, how, how, is that, how is that baked into a standard, this agility? So uh, when we think about migrating uh, various parts of our systems, some of them are built um, in such a way that those systems can negotiate cryptographic algorithms and making migrating you know, parts of it first and then other parts later a little bit easier. Now the way X509 is designed, it's designed around a single crypto algorithm. And there's no other way to migrate infrastructure uh, except by either duplicating the infrastructure or uh, doing what we call a forklift upgrade where you shut everything off and then you replace all your systems. Now that's not very practical. So again, with the X509 certificate, what we've done is we've actually added this crypto agility, uh, which was lacking in it before, which was not needed until now. X509 has been around for uh, 30 years. Will we see another 30 years of X509? Uh, I, I certainly hope so. Uh, it's been serving us for 30 years. Uh, it's the most widely used certificate standard in the world, and uh, I, I hope it will continue uh, serving us for another 30 years. Thank you very much, Alexander. Thank you.